County elections officials have certified a petition to recall the mayor of East Cleveland. We're talking about Brandon King, and now that clock is ticking. Yeah, the embattled mayor has until Thursday to resign or face a recall election in November. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has more on what's motivating this recall effort. Not only are two East Cleveland City Council members pushing this recall effort for Mayor Brandon King, they're also alleging that he's abused his office and misappropriated city money. Taped to the front door to Mayor Brandon King's office are the election results from last year. He won another four-year term, and yet he'll still meet the voters again this November. We feel it is crucial to the health, welfare, and safety of our city to push forward with this recall. Led by citizens and at least two city council members, the campaign to recall East Cleveland's mayor can move forward. City council member and finance chair Korean Stevenson offered sharp criticisms of King, along with allegations that he has mismanaged the public's money. I acknowledge that expenditures have occurred without appropriation or approval in excess of $2 million. Expenditures that constitute theft in office. So we have a situation where laws have been broken and we have a state situation where we have major mismanagement. If this keeps going on, the city's going to fall apart entirely. City Council Member Patricia Blahoviak says she and others have passed information on to state and federal law enforcement. Although News 5 has not been able to independently verify the allegations against King, the allegations themselves remain notable given the fiscal emergency that the city has been under for nearly a decade. That Brandon King is spending money not appropriated by council. This is grossly illegal. News 5 began reaching out to Mayor King late last week, and he did not return our calls or emails. He's in the middle of a meeting, so. And when we stopped by City Hall on Monday, he was apparently unavailable. If the voters choose to recall King in November, there would be a runoff election in 2023 for the mayor's seat. The city of East Cleveland residents must make a choice a choice to continue down this path of destruction and ill repute or turn and save what is left of our city. The next East Cleveland City Council meeting scheduled for Tuesday in East Cleveland. Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. All right, this recall attempt comes six years after the recall of the city's previous mayor. We're talking about Gary Norton. It was narrowly recalled back in 2016 by 20 votes. Under Ohio State law, the city council's vice president was next in line to take over, and that was the city's current mayor, Brandon King. There is, or in order to file a recall, a petition signed by 15% of the number of people who voted in the previous election must be filed with the Board of Elections. If that petition is sufficient and the, number, and the person who is being recalled does not resign within five days, a recall election will be held at the next primary or general election.